You know, a nice steak and a child star have a few things in common. When they're fresh on the scene, they're awesome and desirable. Unfortunately, time passes and they're not so desirable anymore. And any attempt meant to bring it back to its former glory is just sad and pathetic. And the only way you can make a comeback is through a supporting role on a show. In this case, leftover steak hash. Let's get those cameras rolling. Okay, so to begin our steak's redemption arc, I have here a straight-sided saute pan, and we'll set that over medium-high heat. All right, and after that heats up, let's toss in a few tablespoons of oil. Okay, once the oil is nice and shiny, let's add a pound and a half or three medium-sized russet potatoes. Oh, and the uh, best part about making hash, you don't need to peel these things. Saute it for about a minute. Once the potatoes are semi-translucent, let's move on to our next two ingredients. One green bell pepper diced. And half an onion, also diced. And let's season everything with a teaspoon and a half of salt. We're doing this for two reasons. One, the salt will help draw out the moisture from the peppers and onions. And two, your hash is going to be more tasteless than those political tears mugs. So cook this until the onions turn translucent. Okay, once the onion turns translucent, let's introduce the show's co-star. I'm from LA, isn't it obvious? One pound of pre-cooked steak cubed. Cook until every last bit of the steak is caramelized. Okay, the steak is nice and cooked. For our final move, let's top everything off with two thirds a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. Oh, uh, you might want to uh, turn off the heat first. All right, let's plate up. Nesquit. Now, that hash right there looks delicious. But it's not really a hash if you put an egg on it. So, a quick fried egg should do the trick. So let's add a tablespoon of butter to a nonstick pan. Put that over medium low heat. Swirl the butter around. And let's toss in two eggs. And cook until the whites begin to settle. Okay, the whites are nice and firm while the yolks are still running. Let's transfer over that. And there we go, folks. We fried up new life into our leftover steak. Okay, I'm gonna sign off now. This thing's burning my fingertips. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Yeah, I know the episode's intro was kind of depressing. You come up with better analogies to leftover steak.